Hi DIYers, this is Frank at Alarm Grid. We're here at ISC West 2019 in the Alarm.com room uh, off their main booth. Looking at uh, some new products in the pipeline for Alarm.com, in particular the T3000. This will be their new uh, smart thermostat, similar up or an upgrade to their existing T2000. Um, and we're going to have Gustav give us a rundown on some of the new features and look at uh, the integration within the app as well. So basically it builds up the same sorts of remote functionality that you have in the original smart thermostat. So it supports the same temperature sensors, you know, you can do geolocation based uh, control of your thermostat. Um, all those sort of features you know and love from, uh, from the first generation one, but we've taken a bunch of feedback from our dealers and installers uh, from the first generation thermostat to just improve on basically every facet of this one. And so, I mean, it starts in the back. Gotten feedback from a whole bunch of dealers that you know they'd like to have a bit more room to do the wiring for these thermostats. So there's more space here. There's also improved wiring terminals that are super easy to use yep. and reuse, even if you have to you know, pull the wire out, put it back in. Um, updated mounting holes over here that actually match what most commercially available thermostats have. So you get a little bit of a quicker install there. And again, same sort of a uh, level over here that you can use, and then. Top of that one too. Um, you know, when you have clicked in the wires and you attach the smart thermostat to the top, uh, the first time it'll detect exactly what wires are in there. So you can number one uh, really quickly set up the, the thermostat and you know, you make sure that it's an error-free installation. Yep. So it'll auto. It, it can auto sense what type of heating cooling system you might have. Yeah, exactly. Okay. And it'll show you exactly what it is, so you can confirm it. You know. Make sure it's all the wires that you plugged in there. Cool. Yep. Okay. And then also the new display with both the the set point and the current temp, which is kind of cool. Yeah, exactly. And so one of the bits of feedback we heard too is while people like the icons, you know, some people uh, like to actually see the words for cool heat, you know, exactly what mode it's in. And then also being able to see the temperature at the same time as the set point, you know, they're using to set the target temperature for their thermostat. Um, on top of that one too, it's just a little bit more in the lean or way of the menus on this. So, I mean, number one, not everybody, but some people care a whole bunch about being able to set their fan mode. Oh yeah. The yep. So, so that's available here. Okay. Set that, and then on top of that too, especially you know if you've got an HVAC guy who's coming in beforehand um, and setting up the thermostat, you know, you've got a whole series of menus that they can go through and uh, do the construction configuration that they're used to. So it becomes a simple install for them, even if you're not there. Um, you, know, you can just show up later on and add in the thermostat. Uh, the they system. can do the rough kind of, you know, maybe wiring or back-end HVAC work, yep. set up the thermostat locally, and then you can kind of take it from there as a customer exactly. to kind of enroll it into your Lime.com app. Um, yeah, so I, I don't think there's much difference on control within the app, right? Exactly. Okay. So once you're in the app, it's uh, exactly the same interface that you're used to, you know, and it supports the same cool uh, heat auto mode, you know, you can do humidity-based control, again, you can select remote temperature sensors to control the devices, um, yeah, it's all the same stuff you're used to over here. Cool. So, temperature sensors, you know, so if, for example, your thermostat someplace else, you know, one that I use all the time is my thermostat's downstairs, my bedroom, yeah, I want it to be a comfortable temperature up there. Um, when it's, you know, midwinter or sort of, uh, the height of summer, the temperature downstairs is way different from the one upstairs. Right. So it's great to be able to say, like, okay, I want it to be 68 degrees and, you know, I'll sleep well no matter what. So the wireless sensors are the little S2000s? Yeah, exactly. And do they, they're not going to have, like, an S3000 or anything? Same, no, same sensor? For, for now, yeah. Okay. We're going to use the exact same sensors with the setup. And you can use an average of these temperatures yeah, exactly. as well? Yeah, exactly. Okay. You can either choose a different one or you can select multiple ones and use an average between the, the setup. Very cool. All right, well, um, we're excited for the release on this. Uh, when, when are you looking at ET an ETA, yeah, approximately? Yeah, so we think it's going to be end of May. End of May, Should okay. Be launching this one. Um, so coming up okay. real soon for you guys. I mean, cool. We had a real successful round of beta testing with, uh, with a number of dealers. And so Excellent. Great feedback from that one, and we're excited to get that out into the world. All right, well, thank you, Gustav, for your time. Yeah. Appreciate it. No, we're excited so for the uh, T3000 here. See you later, guys.